In this No Man's Sky video, I got the location for 7 custom ships with great supercharged slot layouts. And the other half of the video is where you can get the ship parts for the custom ships and a few extra bits along the way. So here's the portal code with a convenient pause for the first one. This, like most of them, was found by Mark over on Interstellar Index. So thank you Mark, the Interstellar Index is a good resource. You'll find a link in the description below if you want more. But we're off to the space station. Remember at the space station you have to buy an S-Class reactor to get an S-Class custom ship. Now we can create our first custom ship. We're going to use a radiant cockpit. Droid sea wings. And try boosters. For the first one I will colour it, but all future ones I will not. I'll leave them white, the colour is up to you, as the colour doesn't affect the supercharged slot layout. As you can see, only two of the supercharged slots are visible, so we're going to have to unlock some of the technology slots. You can do that at the ship outfitter. And at this location, you've got the L layout for the supercharged slot layout. So the last thing to do is take the ship outside and have a closer look. Here's the portal code with the convenient pods for custom ship number two. This one was found by T-Bags, thank you T-Bags. We head straight to the space station. Head straight to the ship fabricator. Needle fuselage. Droid E wings. And a mono thruster. Once assembled, you've got the four interconnecting supercharged slots. So let's get in the ship, take it outside and have a closer look. Here's the portal code with a convenient pause for custom ship number three. We're at the other side, let's head straight to the space station. Head to the ship fabricator. And at this location, we're using the speeder fuselage. Star dancer wings. Now 
and the moral thruster. Let's assemble the ship and again we've got the four interconnecting supercharged slot layouts. Let's get into the ship, take it outside and have a closer look. Remember you can paint it any colour you want. Here's a portal code with the convenient pause for custom ship number 4. We we'll head straight to the space station. Head to the ship fabricator. We're using the speeder fuselage. The droid sea wings. And the tri boosters. The paint job is up to you, but once assembled, We've got the T formation supercharged slot layout. Let's get in the ship, take it outside and have a closer look. Here's the portal code for the convenient pods for custom ship number 5. As soon as we get to the other side, we head straight to the space station. Head to the ship fabricator. We're using the Radiant Cockpit. The droid wings. And the tri booster. The colour is up to you. Let's assemble the ship. We can only see three supercharged slot layouts, so we're going to have to upgrade the technology slots. And we've got a Z formation supercharged slot layout. So let's get in the ship and take it outside and have a closer look. Here's the portal code with the convenient pause for custom ship number 6. As soon as we get to the other side, we head straight to the space station. Then head to the ship fabricator. We're using the hot rod cockpit.
the droid sea wings and the mono thruster the color is up to you let's assemble the ship we can't see all the super josh slot layouts so we're going to have to upgrade the technology slots But in this location, we get the L formation supercharged slot layout. So let's get in the ship, take it outside and have a closer look. Here's a portal code with a convenient pause for custom ship number 7. The last one. We're at the other side, let's head to the space station. Head to the ship fabricator. We're using the hot rod cockpit. the droid E-Wings and the Mono Thruster The colour is your choice, let's assemble the ship and for this location we've got a T formation supercharged slot layout So let's get in the ship, take it outside and have a closer look. As promised, here's the second half of the video with timestamps. You may find that you have to wait for a bit of time for ships to fly in, but also reloading on the space station helps a lot. Especially if you extracted some parts from a ship, reloading will reset the seeds. Just remember to get in and out your ship after you've scrapped each ship, and happy ship part hunting.
I hope you liked the video, and if you did, hit that like and subscribe button, or on the bell thingy. And of course, thank you for watching. See you all later.